I've often heard here at Davos in the past criticism of governments, criticisms that, hey, these things have got to change and then things will change for women. What I'm hearing now is, yes, those things need to change. And there are these things that we can do tactically to accelerate the process of change. It's a whole systemic approach. Women are embedded in this entire socioeconomic cultural system. And so it's not just about giving women some training, it's also about changing corporate structures, changing social norms in order to enable the empowerment of women. Particularly important to us this week was a luncheon session we held. We'd never tried this before. Get together some thought leaders from all over the world and not just discuss the broad subject of gender parity, but really drill down to one of the essential elements uh, that drives it, and that has to do with confidence. So the current research shows that when women lack confidence, they don't tend to take as many leadership roles and they don't tend to ask for the resources that they need to succeed. And both of those things hurt their success in the workplace. So we said we've got to take this a step further. Partnering with Georgetown University, we're going to launch a study that really takes the subject of confidence and we dig further. What does it mean? What are the types of behaviors and trainings and indicators that lead to confidence? And then what are the out long run outcomes of that confidence? The partnership between Georgetown and Tupperware is very meaningful. I think it shows the moral concern that Tupperware has. There needs to be more of this dialogue between academics, people like me, and practitioners, people like the Tupperware executives and the women that have boots on the ground that really understand the practical aspects of everything that we study. It's that marriage that's going to really have a meaningful impact. So I'm excited uh, and anticipating what will come out of this research. <laughs>